Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of properties of operations. This is standard 6.7D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 4 off the 2019 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we need to find an equivalent expression to 6 times p plus 3. We don't really need these parentheses as they are right now. We would do the uh, multiplication before this addition, but it's going to be helpful because we might need them with the associated property. So let's look at our three types of properties that we might look at in this problem. So the associative property is the grouping property. And it's how we group things together with parentheses. And it says that you can group things together as long as they don't change the operation. You can change the grouping and everything's going to be fine. So if we change the grouping and we go from a multiplication to an addition, that's going to be a problem. But if you change the grouping, so let's say you do 6 plus 3 plus 2. And you group those together and then you do 6 plus 3 three plus two, and you group those together. That's going to be fine, because when you change your grouping, you didn't change the operation. So the next one is the commutative. Pretty simple property of operation. It's the order property. And so we know it as six plus three equals three plus six. These operations work with addition and multiplication, but not necessarily subtraction or division. And then finally, our last one, which I don't think we're going to get to today, look based on the F, G, H, and J answer choices, but the distributive property is kind of the tough one in sixth grade. And this is breaking apart. But this is so important for the rest of middle school and high school. You'll use this distributive property again and again and again. So 3, 4 plus 7... That's the same as 3. What you do is you break it apart. You break this 3 apart, and you multiply it by both 4 and 7, keeping that addition there. So 3 times 4 plus 3 times 7. That's what that breaking apart does. So let's take a look at these expressions here, and let's see what we have. And we have a P, so let's go ahead and fill that P in with something. So let's just make it 3. Let's just make P equals 3, and we're going to be able to evaluate you don't really want to use 0 or 1, simply because sometimes you can get a false positive, especially with 1 or with 0, and then you don't want to use a really hard one like 17. There's no point doing that. So let's keep something simple like 3. So let's look at this first one. So 3 minus, and I'm going to do 6, times 3. So what does that equal? Well, 3 minus, and then 6 times 3, so that's 3 minus 18. So that equals negative 15. So that's what f equals. But you know what? We don't even know what our original expression equals. Let's go ahead and figure that one out as well. Let's put that up here. So 6 times 3 and then plus 3. So that's 18 plus 3. So that makes 21. So definitely does not uh, does not work there. And what we did is we changed the order. It was kind of a community property, but then they changed it from a plus to a minus, so you're not going to flip operations like that and make an equivalent expression. So that doesn't work. Let's look at g here. 3, and then I've got plus 3 times 6, so 3 plus 18, so that equals 21. So that looks like it's going to work. And what they did there is they actually did kind of a double commutative property. Look at this. They did the plus 3 at the back. They changed it to the front. And then they switched 6 times p to p times 6. But they kept the grouping the same, so I think that's going to work. Let's check this. the rest to make sure. 6 plus 3 times 3. So that's going to be 6 plus 9. You do the multiplication first. That's 15. So that is not going to work. And then let's look at j. 6 times 3 plus 3, that's 6 times 6, that's 36. Nope, so our answer is G.